Moving on, a former Singaporean cabinet minister has pleaded guilty to charges of receiving illegal gifts in what is being seen as the first ministerial criminal trial in Asia in nearly half a century. The former transport minister pleaded guilty to one count of obstructing justice and four of accepting gifts from people with whom he had official business. The court set October 3rd for sentencing. Here's more in our next report. Singapore's former transport minister pleaded guilty on Tuesday to accepting gifts while in office in a rare graft case that has gripped the Asian financial hub. The case charges Subramaniam Iswaran, who goes by S. Iswaran, with receiving favours including tickets to English Premier League soccer matches and the Singapore Formula One Grand Prix. Iswaran, who joined the cabinet in 2006, is the first full minister to be tried in court on graft charges in the wealthy city-state, which prides itself on having a well-paid and efficient bureaucracy, as well as strong governance. The 62-year-old was arrested in July last year, accused of taking kickbacks worth hundreds of thousands of dollars from property tycoon Ong Beng Seng and another businessman. Iswaran was advisor to the Grand Prix steering committee, while Ong owns the rights to the race. Ong has not been charged with any offense. Iswaran had rejected the allegations when he resigned from the cabinet. In court, he pleaded guilty to accepting gifts as a public servant, as well as to obstructing justice instead of charges that include corruption. In a surprise move, the prosecution dropped the vast majority of charges against Iswaran, and it asked for a sentence of up to seven months in prison, according to Channel News Asia. That's much lighter than the maximum of seven years and fines for obstructing justice, or the two years and fines for accepting gifts. The news outlet reported that Iswaran will be sentenced on October 3rd. The last corruption case involving a Singaporean minister investigated for allegedly accepting bribes was in 1986, but the man died before he could be charged in court. According to Transparency International's Corruption Perception Index, Singapore was among the world's top five least corrupt countries last year.